welcome back to part two of Cat in a Garden. We are doing our leaves and flowers today. I just wanted to show you some examples of what we're gonna be going for. It's really, really simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white sheet of paper is going to be our flowers. Our green sheet of paper is going to be our leaves. And we're gonna be using crayons today. So let's see. Let's start with our leaves. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw some leaves. You can start with rainbow lines like that, sort of like how we made our cat eyes. Do a line down the middle. That's one leaf. You need to make them nice and big. And you need to, you can do letter V's and make them fancier. You can even make them super skinny. You can even put lines across like this. You could even have different shape leaves, like maybe a mitten leaf. A mitten leaf might look neat, sort of like a maple leaf. So whatever you do, you need to fill in almost your entire space with leaves. Nice big ones. All right. So that's part one of this. The next part is we're going to take and we're going to make flowers. There's a couple of different ways you can make some flowers. Maybe you want to make the good old fashioned daisy flower. So you make a circle a bouncy line and 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 a bouncy line. Maybe you want to make a tulip. One, two, three, four. That's a W. Put a letter U underneath it and ta-da. Maybe you want to draw a swirly round and round and round and round and down. See that? And then we're going to join it together with the letter U. And join that one together. That makes a rosebud. You can even make little flowers. You can even make maybe a daisy. Really, really small, thin petals. Or maybe you want to make it with big fat petals that don't touch. Whatever you do, you need to fill in your whole page so that there's more flowers than space. When you're all done, roll up your sleeves and color those flowers in.